Hello. Um, I guess I should start off with a jargon warning, because there's going to be lots of it, I think. Um, I'm working on something again, <laughs> and I uh, thought I might share it with you guys. Uh, it's kind of a, very much a testing kind of, this is maybe a concept kind of project, but I'm hoping it works out. Um, what you're looking at is the scope output here of two envelope tracking circuits that are listening to a pair of contact microphones um, but they're kind of a weird design uh, what I've done is I've taken watches because um, I've done a couple of these now and I'm working on more uh, I've taken watches and built inside a contact microphone, sort of, and I'll get to that, uh, with a two-stage transistor preamplifier circuit. Uh, initially, I just wanted to put a mic and an LED inside of these, but because of the high impedance of the contact mic uh, and how tiny the signal was, by the time it got down the line, most of it was 60 hertz and some uh, AM radio stations. I wasn't too pleased with that. So I built two-stage approximately 40 to 60 times gain uh, in each of these. That's about two bucks in parts. Uh, the weird part of the design on these is that usually when you have a contact mic on something you just stick the contact mic on or you depend on it flexing with a surface. In this case I built what I'm calling an inertia mic, which is probably something completely different and has already been invented for something else. I know someone's already done this, it's stupid simple, but uh, it just kind of came to me one morning. Um, what I did is, this is the back of the watch, I, put, I glued in a piece of uh, prototyping board, just regular dip through hole size proto board, and I laid down uh, a resistor lead, and I balanced the piezo across the resistor lead, tacked it in place with solder in three points, so the third one's back here, and I've made this kind of cantilever. Uh, this here is an insulating plastic washer glued on top, and then a brass nut as uh, the reference mass. So the concept is um, you know, by basic physics, this wants to stay still. So when the body of the watch moves, uh, it causes the piezo to flex and it produces a voltage. And that's then pre-amplified by the circuit built into the watch and sent down the line. That goes to some more amplifying stages on a breadboard and a really, really basic um, let's see, half wave uh, envelope tracker that's actually working backwards. Uh, so they're inverted output. That can be fixed later. It's, I'm just tweaking with ideas right now. But that's the scope output. Um, the electronics on the board are tuned to chop everything down. Um, bull, or, sorry, chop everything out above 200 hertz or so, 200, 250 hertz, because I'm interested in the 2 or 3 to 200 hertz range, because um, what I'm listening to is muscles. So the concept is it's a, it's a it's like a mechanical electromyography sensor. It's it's an acoustic myography sensor. So the more these move the lower the envelope voltage drops. That right now is at about 0.1 volts a division, so I'm getting a rate and output range of about a volt. Uh, and that's all they really are. So the idea is I'm going to use things like common mode rejection across symmetrical muscle pairs so that I can take the signals and subtract them from each other to find out 
is that noise from me moving or stepping, or is that noise from, you know, um, the actual muscle signal I want to read? So what I mean by that is, if I stack these two, they have an in-phase output, and I move them together, you'll notice they have a fairly, fairly similar envelope output. It's not perfect because they're moving a little bit, and the cables knocking is actually enough to set them off. But if I subtract the signals from each other and move them in phase, you get a little bit of jumping, but it's not much of a signal. And if I add them, where is it? There it is. I get a really big signal, a really sensitive signal. So what that means is I can compare the output of both sensors and subtract the output of both sensors. And by reading that information, I can determine if it's noise or if it's an actual useful blip. Um, so these will be all over my back, possibly on my arms, possibly on my legs. Um, different colors, and I'm going to put in another LED inside to do uh, to show when they activate. Uh, let me set this up here. Um, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, the whole point of this, aside from hopefully being a, a body or or possibly embody an environment controlled wearable light show. Um, that's going to be controlling the uh, animatronic tail I built a little while ago, which I'm currently doing upgrades to. I'm going to be replacing a lot of these parts in a nicer plastic. Uh, I'll put a video link at the bottom if you haven't seen that. I suppose that's all for this update. We'll see what happens with this project. Could be interesting, could be completely useless but at least I figured out a way to make a really, really primitive $2 accelerometer. Anyway, later.